It only takes a few minutes to set up the EG071. Let's begin by setting the current time and day. Select the time and day by holding down the plus or minus buttons until it's set, noting that it's a 24-hour clock. The clock will scroll through the times and days. Keep an eye on the number at the bottom of the screen. The days of the week are at the bottom of the screen with Monday being 1 and Sunday 7. Once you've reached your selected time, you can move on to the next step. Now, set a schedule, starting with the on time. The example we will use in this video is 7 a.m. Press the program button until the on time flashes. Using the plus or minus buttons, scroll through until 7 o'clock is shown. Remembering this is a 24 hour clock. Once you've reached your selected time, press the program button to confirm your schedule's on time. We are now going to set the days of the week the schedule will run for. For this video, we will set the schedule from Monday through to Friday. The number identifying the day of the week will already be flashing. Scroll through the days using the plus button, starting with the first day of your schedule. All days will be shown as on at this point. If a day is not required, press the off button. When you press off, the smaller numbers at the bottom of the screen will disappear. Then, press the program button again to confirm the operating days and the number identifying the day will stop flashing and the days that are scheduled will be shown at the bottom of the screen. Once the days are set, we can now schedule an off time. The example we will use in this video is 7 p.m. Remembering, this is a 24-hour clock. The off time will already be flashing. Press the plus or minus buttons until your required time is selected. Once you've reached your selected time, press the program button again to confirm the off and the programming is now complete. Return to the home screen by holding down the program button. Here are some tips if you wish to review your schedule. To enter in more schedules, just go through this process again, beginning with setting and on time. To check your settings at any time, press the program key repeatedly. This will display your schedule's start time, active days, and the off time, in that order. And there'll be times you want to manually override. That's easy too. Press the on-off button. This will manually override all schedules programmed in the time clock. The on-off displayed on the screen will start flashing. Then either press override on or press again for off to manually turn on or turn off the output the time switch circuit is controlling. There will be instances where the off time needs to be programmed first, then the on time and then the days in that order. For example, you may have a seven day week program for car park lights starting at 11 p.m. or 2300 hours and finishing at 6 a.m. Begin by setting up your current time and date as shown in section one. Press the program button and the on program setting will appear. To change it to off, simply press the on-off button. The off program will now appear on the screen and will be ready to be set. Program the rest of the schedule as you would normally by setting the off time first, the days for which the schedule will run and the on time in that order. Refer to section two and three earlier in this video. If you need to change the current time due to daylight saving, Return to the home screen by holding down the program button if not already shown. Press the plus or minus buttons until you reach your required time and day. Once you've done this, press the program button to confirm. If you miss a step or want to start again, just hold down the reset button for five seconds to cancel your schedule.
Hager recommends that a contactor switch be used in conjunction with the EG071.